Oh, hi. I never in a million years would own an iPhone. I'm not a big fan of Apple or their products. I, I don't know, something about big conglomerates and their, and their, everybody's got one, you know, that's when I'm like, no, thanks then. Uh, so a lot of times, especially in recent years, uh, there's been what seems to be uh, excellent television shows and movies on Apple TV, but I would never subscribe to Apple TV and I'm always like, eh, oh well. Guess I'll never see that. Uh, until I, it was shortly before the Oscars, I was just, I'm a huge uh, Coen Brothers fan, and I'm a big fan of, 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 of Shakespeare. Um, and I really, really, really wanted to see the tragedy of Macbeth. And the only way you could do that was, was Apple. It didn't come to my theater, unfortunately. Uh, so I, I finally eventually caved and was like, well, obviously I'm not gonna subscribe to Apple TV. And I'm not going to get it for free because I would never buy an Apple product. Um, but I really want to watch Tragedy of Macbeth, so I'll just see if I can get this. I mean, you know, they'll probably have a week free trial, and then I can watch the movie, and that's that. So I downloaded it on my fancy schmancy TV, the app that is, to see if I could get a free trial. And right before I went to check, I thought, you know what? If I'm going to watch this movie, I want to wear my, my headphones, and I can't hook my headphones up to the TV. So... I downloaded uh, uh, Apple TV onto my PlayStation 4. And then when I went to open it and uh, see if I could try a free trial, it said, oh, hey, by the way, your PlayStation 4 that I've owned for years uh, and years <laughs> uh, comes with um, three months of Apple TV for free. And I went, oh, okay. All right, then. There you have it. Done deal. So I watched The Tragedy of Macbeth. Loved it. Absolutely fantastic. Didn't understand a word of it, so I watched it again. I get it now, and I love it even more. I'm a big fan. I'm going to watch that movie many, many times. But three months of Apple TV, I'm like, well, you know what? There was this show I heard about. This show I heard about that it has Adam Scott. I love Adam Scott. I've been a fan of his since before Parks and Rec. I was a huge fan of him in Party Down. So love me some Adam Scott. I saw the image of Adam, little Adam Scott in big, you know, in, in Adam Scott's head. And it seemed intriguing. I heard something about, a, you know, it's, it has to do with a really weird workplace. That was literally all I knew. I had not seen a trailer, nothing. I was like, but I kind of want to check this show out. So I put it on my, on my list of things to watch eventually. I have a very long one. And then I was watching some other review or, you know, some show, one of my YouTube channels of people talking about something, and somebody brought up the, the, the show Severance, and they said, oh man, you gotta check the show out. And then they went, to, they went on to, to explain that the premise of the show is you have no memory of your personal life when you're at work, and in your personal life you have no memory of your work life. Literally the only thing I knew. That was the only thing I heard. I was like, wow, that sounds really intriguing. I think I'm going to have to check this out immediately. Because that sounds like my cup of tea. I've got, a, I've got some withdrawals. I like my philosophy, and I've got philosophy withdrawals after Raised by Wolves. Was, uh, season one of Raised by Wolves was full of, 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 of jumping points for philosophical conversation and debates and thoughts and I loved it so much. And then season two was kind of like, not so much. So I was very disappointed with season two of that and I needed my philosophical fix again. So this sounded like a premise of something I could really get behind. So I go to, 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 add to this Apple TV app uh, to check out this show. I almost, because, you know, they under their bonus features, they have trailers and, and, and behind the scenes and whatnot. I almost I almost watched the trailer. I'm going to check out a trailer first. And I went, you know what? I'm already convinced to watch the show. I'll probably enjoy it more if I just hit play knowing nothing about it. So I knew something about memory disconnect between work and personal life. I knew it was called Severance. And I knew it starred Adam Scott. And that was all I knew when I pressed play.
So I finally saw Severance. I was really looking forward to it. I knew nothing about it. Ugh. And when I pressed play, who are you? Boy, am I glad I knew nothing about it. Ah, uh, what a roller coaster ride. I mean, immediately from the first episode, the philosophical conversations of, oh, like immediately when you tell somebody the premise, they go, oh, what a great idea. I would have no memory of work. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> but you're technically creating a version of yourself that is trapped at work all the time. Could you imagine the second you clock out is the second you clock in? You just feel refreshed? <laughs> no, thank you. So... What an amazing show. I, I, I haven't seen such a thing since Lost. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's up there with the greats. It's one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. So I'm enjoying this first episode being thrown into this world, having this thing unravel before me. And of course, I love how the second episode gives you the other POV of other things that were happening. Even in the first episode, you have the beginning and you're like, what's going on? And then you see what's going on. It was his first day. And spoilers, by the way, I might drop some bombs about Severance season one that I did complete. Watched it twice. After I finished the first episode, I went, this is one of those shows where I want to watch each episode twice. But most of the episodes had already aired. When I started, I think there was like two or three episodes that had still yet to air. So I was catching up and I caught up like right before that last episode. Actually, a funny story. But uh, at first, I was... Um, Losing my train of thought. Right, I knew it was going to be one of those shows where I wanted to watch each episode twice before tackling the next episode. And I went, you know what? Let's not do that this time. I do that with, like, your your, your Mandalorians and Boba Fett's and, and Moon Knights and WandaVisions. But I was like, this time, since I already have most of it and it's almost, almost there, I'm going to watch the whole season and then immediately watch the whole season again. Which I did. I just finished my second viewing of the season. Funny, speaking of, when I, when I finished the first episode, there's a couple things i got to just explain. Uh, one, again, I knew nothing about this show when I started it. Thank goodness. When the words directed by Ben Stiller came up, I had no idea he was involved whatsoever. But on top of that, to see his name as director and in such a well-done show, and it's not a comedy. Sure, there's plenty of funny stuff and laughs, but it's not a comedy. So, directed by Ben Stiller, and then the whole season? Holy crap. Did not see that coming. Did not expect it. I'm still shocked by it, because what an amazing director. Fantastic show from start to finish. Amazing director. Speaking of start to finish, spoiler, we now know who Helly is. So shouldn't she know what her dad has for breakfast? Because in episode one, before she does the procedure, he mentions the whole thing about how, oh, did you know that his favorite breakfast is blah, 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 blah? And she was like, no, I didn't know that. But it wasn't like a, hmm, my dad never told me what his favorite breakfast was. No, it was like a, hmm, never, that was knowledge, never, like, was that their mistake? Or is this, like, a clue that, because nothing seems to be by accident on this show. It's so brilliant. And I gotta tell you, I got to episode eight, and I thought that was the finale. And I went, well, that was kind of a lame cliffhanger. I feel unfulfilled. I don't know how I feel about this show anymore. That was too abrupt. And then the following week, when it airs, drops, um, I uh, went to start the season over, because I still loved it. And to my surprise, there was episode nine. Again, I'm glad that I did not know these things. Normally I know every single thing about a show or movie, before I see it. It's very rare that I get a show like Severance or certain movies where I don't know anything and I get my mind blown. So it blew my mind, especially once I got my episode nine. Hey, that rhymed. Ooh, so did that. Anyway, 
I thought for a split second where they were going when they had the reveals of their of their innies seeing their Audis lives that they were I mean I guess they kind of did for one but for a second I thought they were going to all discover that their Audis were pieces of shit <laughs> alright well we'll wrap this up in a wrap up video go go watch part two I gotta give me one second I gotta step on the elevator real quick <laughs>